Hey, good. I was going to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't even know what time of the day it is. This isolation thing has got me batty right now. <laughs> so I wanted to introduce you guys to another game that has um, helped me keep my sanity uh, in the last couple of months. You know, I'm a huge baseball fan and I have missed baseball so badly. Well, I just discovered this game, and apparently it's been around for like 20 or 21 years, but better late than never, I say. Uh, it's called Out of the Park Baseball 2021, and it's, oh uh, gosh, if you're a baseball fan, you're going to really enjoy this game. Um, I highly recommend it. It's not necessarily that you're playing the team like where you're swinging the bat, or you're pitching a ball, or pitching a curveball. Or, it's not like that, which I, I played those games, and I don't really enjoy them that much. Um, this is more, it's, it's two-sided. You can play a franchise, which is kind of when you pay, play this side of the game. Or um, they have something else here where you're playing head-to-head -head with other people. It's called Perfect Team, and you can also do tournaments as well. And I wanted to explain what these are, and, and it's really helped me get my fix for baseball right now. So I'm going to show you... Um, Let's create a new game, a new standard game. You basically, you can pick, you, you could pick any team in baseball and you could either manage a minor league team, which you don't have as much power down there, or you can be the general manager of a major league team and you can do, um, you're in charge of the trades, you're in charge of uh, putting people in different positions, you're in charge of trading, you're in charge of, uh, you know, uh, you're in charge of the draft and who you pick in the draft. It's, it's just, it's awesome. So let's do a new standard game really quick. Uh, let's not do challenge mode right now. Uh, you can play different leagues. I'd forgotten about this. Um, Honkball Hooste Klasse. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I would, I'm almost tempted. I'm really tempted. But let's, let's just do Major League Baseball right now. Um, let's say, I'll, I'll, you can name it too, and I'll just keep it. I'll keep it as a new game too. Uh, start game. And what they mean by live start is I uh, believe the uh, the players update their abilities based on what they're doing in real life. Unfortunately, I haven't experienced that since I bought this. It came out in March of this year, right when the lockdown started. So meh. Uh, when you first start this and you set up a game, it takes a little bit of time. So it's thinking, it's creating. Um, you can see your entire minor league affiliates and you control, you can control where people play, or you can set up the AI to kind of help as well. Um, I am not a male. Thank you very much. No. Wow. I like that. That makes me younger than I am. I'll, I'll keep that. <laughs> I like this. It cannot be fired. You can be fired sometimes. If you do a horrible job, you can be fired. I want GM and manager because that you have the most control right there. Um, interesting. I haven't played that. Commissioner mode allows you to control other teams and edit players. You have complete control over your game. But that's not fair, because then they'd be cheating. Uh, I'm tempted. I, 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 I'll show you. I've been playing the Los Angeles Angels for 10 years, for from 2021 to or 2020 through 2032, and we have not won a World Series still. So maybe that would help. I don't know. Um, let's just leave that for now, because we're, uh, yeah, we're doing an example for you. So who should I pick? Let's see. Any Colorado Rocky fans out there? Let's pick them. Let's start the game. Disabled player salaries and contacts from MLP family. It's not official. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, so at the beginning, you start and you get a private message from your owner over here. I mean, this is like an inbox. And this, you have to like to look at stats for this game. I will tell you that much. Um, because you, you've you got to, I mean, you, you have a player list here. And this is their overall ratings based on your scout and their potential ratings. Like this guy here, this starting pitcher, German or Hermann Marquez. He's, he's really, really, really good. And he's getting paid for it. But you got this guy over here that's sucking down 17 million. What the? Wow. Um, anyway, so you, lo you look at your rosters, you can bring people up from your minor league affiliate. If you're getting ready for spring training, you can actually go up to 40 on your roster right now. Uh, it's March 24th, so they're about to go into spring training. So I could pull people up 
like uh, let's try out let's get this picture up there it'll let you usually it yells at you saying you're full when you fill up your 40 man roster that's when it will start to yell at you um, you could set your pitching staff this is who I have already at the start this is my starting pitchers they have a five man rotation I do two with my angels and they have a, a ton of relievers right now this is the guy I just pulled up we haven't assigned him anything um, if I look at lineups um, this basically shows your lineup so you have as your main catcher your backup catcher first baseman first baseman etc um, and you could play with this like every 20th game just to give this guy a break that's kind of crazy let's 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 do it every eight games and and I can't really go straight into a game here because they want me to review lineups and do a lot of other things but I just want to show you the basics um, for strategy you can set player strategy I usually just do global and you can tell them how often you want them to steal bases how aggressive they you want them to be stealing the bases how often you use hit and run sacrifice bunt squeeze bunts how often you know you're pitching and defensive strategy how often you want to pitch around or, or intentionally walk them um, even down here pinch runners etc etc how fast do you want to quick hook the uh, starting pitchers when they're doing a bad job or same thing with the relievers um, you can even set pitch counts now I use this during spring trading because technically start a lot of starting pitchers when they come back they can't pitch up to 100 pitches the first few weeks you're gonna injure them immediately so I'll likely I'll, I'll plug in something like okay give them a cap of 30 and 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 they should do fine and then the next week I'll move it up to like 45 or, or 50 or something like that and then hopefully by the first week I'll have them close to 100 or at least at 90 pitches um, so the uh, the bullpen isn't too strained um, and you're in charge of the budget too you can you can fill around with the budget here you're in charge of hiring personnel the managers everybody I love franchise mode I, I just I'm I didn't write, realize how much of a stat person I was until I started playing franchise um, I call that the left side um, I call this the franchise mode of the game now if I load a game this was the first one um, you can play minor league also and you're in charge you can pick one of the minor leagues affiliates you're just you can't do any trading you have no control over that except for your lineups um, here this is my angels game where are you I think that's the right one yeah see I'm in 2031 I'm in the off season right now so <laughs> I've played that quite a bit in fact it's been so many years Mike Trout just retired which was really sad because I never got him to the World Series I was so upset um, yep yeah, see signed Mike Trout to an extension retired I'm like duh I had a very bad season last year <laughs> I did make the playoffs several times in those last 10 years but not this past year um, anyway I just wanted to show you that really quick um, oh actually oh, sorry it takes so long to load out I wanted to show you what a game looked like but I you know what I can in the minor league one um, with the when you play the actual game minor league there we go you can be really anal you can play every pitch every out um, but I that's almost too much for me um, so what I do I had it set up here where you see who's gonna start and this is this is my side this is Renhefos in minor league and, and they got some good players here and when I go to play see I have it set up all this computer AI that's basically I could play at every inning every half inning every at bat but I'm like uh you know sometimes I do but you literally can I could if I wanted ultimate control I could do substitutions but I just basically do my set and then I go I'm just gonna play the entire game and then it shows me whether or not I lose and I lost that game oh I was on a winning streak too and I lost that game ah, oh well <laughs> And you can look at the box score and, and break it down and see who did bad and who pitched well and who batted well but anyways darn it I lost the game I want a bragging rights for this video oh well it minor league is really difficult I enjoy um, 
I really enjoy the franchise mode. And then this is the perfect team, and many people prefer this. You basically, when you first buy this game, you get six packs of baseball cards, like as if you would buy it off the market shelf. And you open them up, and there's like six people, I think, to a pack, and you get players. And you can build, gradually build a team. And there's different levels. There's iron level, which is the lowest, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, and perfect. And this is actually part of my roster. You can see in this window, I've got some diamond. I actually got a perfect card. I got a couple. I got really lucky. And then gold. But when I first started, it was all iron and bronze. In fact, let's buy one just to, to show it what this is. Now I could buy one of these and I would be guaranteed a gold card, but let's do this. Get one pack of a regular. You're guaranteed at least one bronze in this. One bronze level. Great sound effect in this game too. <laughs> so this is my first card that I have. I'm not going to pronounce his name. He's an iron. This guy's also an iron. What this is a historical card. So in some of the tournaments, you're limited to you have like a salary cap on some of them, and some of them you can only play history, historical cards or live cards. Is what we were talking about earlier. It was just all sports of um, what you could play this game. Another iron. Here's a bronze. I think I have that guy. And that was it. So, nothing too impressive in this game. Uh, in this pack, unfortunately. But, you know, that's part of the sometimes. So let's go exit out of there. So if, if I had gotten another diamond or a, a high gold, I would actually go to my roster and, uh, and, and fix this up a little bit, like roster management. And I would like, like if this Trevor, Bra Trevor Bauer who is a really good pitcher. He's rated 81 overall, starting pitcher, but my starting pitchers are pretty stacked. I've got three diamonds, a perfect, and a, a gold that's ranked 87. Now, I could switch him out for Wal Walter, Wal why can't I speak? Walker Bueller. Let's see how he's doing this season. Eh, he's doing okay, I'll just leave him in for now. But I mean, I could swap him out, and then I still have to submit the team if I do that. Uh, if you look at the league I'm in, you can't really see it, but there is something called, uh, these are the different leagues. Oh, they finally have a perfect league. That's the first time I've seen that. And they started, they started these leagues in like the week of March 30th. And I am in the bronze league. I was in the silver, but I kept losing and losing and losing. I finally got bumped back down. So I'm doing much better um, than I did before, which is good. And then eventually you work your way up and these things are massive. There's a lot of people playing. And if you look at the league, you can check out standings, scores. I'm, that's my wild card. Hey, look like I've, I'm on the wild card chase. I'm playing somebody, this guy is just in super good. And I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna catch up to him. This is my division for this particular time. Some of the <laughs> some of the names are hysterical too. I don't see that now. He must have got relegated. There was somebody who had a really funny name, but anyways. Anyways, let's move back out to the home screen. Oh, I mean the the actual start screen, and I'll show you really quick about uh, perfect team tournaments. I'm not in any right now, but I could show all the tournaments. You can actually uh, filter these by uh, bronze, silver, gold, diamonds, or lower. Uh, let's just do silver cards or lower. This way, I can't put in any gold or any silver at all. And I can look at what they offer right now. So we got a tournament with 32 teams eventually. This is a salary cap. So uh, your this is a good equalizer for people who, have, who just want to play all the highest possible silver cards you're not going to have enough points or money to spend on that. So you have to like work with some bronze and some irons too. This one is a team of uh, a league of 16. It's a round robin for three, best of three for the final. It's silver, but it's historical only. So it has to be older cards. 
This one is live cards only, which means it's live cards or people who are actually playing. This one's not live, so it could be um, historical and just non-live cards. It's just it's a category of cards that they have. Then you've got a best of seven. That's just silver. And up to 32, same thing here. This is a do or die, so it's a one and done kind of situation. And these are the rewards that you get. That you can win packs, free packs of cards, which would build your team, or you can get these perfect points, which you use to buy cards, which is what I just did. I just showed that to you. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's do something easy just for like 200. Let's do the, the 750 PP points. Let's check that one out. So if you get a second place, you actually do get something. You get 250 points. And these are the people that have already signed up. A lot of Omaha. I have a feeling those are a bunch of friends <laughs> playing there. But let's check that out. Let's sign up for that one. And let's go in and set my roster. Now I've learned I used to do it manually. And um, try, I tried to save these things and it was just, it was crazy. And then I realized that if you just click on manage roster and wait, and then activate all eligible cards, it usually catches all of it, but sometimes it's best to go in and check that they did. But anyways, uh, ask AI to set up complete team lineup, etc. And now I do usually end up adjusting a little bit for it, but... I usually like my five starting pitchers. That's good. I like to do eight or sometimes seven, but usually eight relief pitchers. And that's eight. And then you've got, let's see here. Uh, I think they have too many infielders. What I would normally do is swap out one of the infielders and put another outfielder in. But I would like find my replacement here and, and remove one and drag another guy over. But for sake of brevity in this video, I'll just show you. <laughs> How to finish this up. So it's already created the lineup and you can adjust this um, any way you want. Um, and this is the lineup here. Um, this, this particular league has a DH in it. Not all of them do. And then you set your global strategy. You can fiddle around with this. There's some presets you can do. I like, let's do random because that comes up with some crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's really bad. But like be super conservative on base running. Uh, let's move that up a little bit. Never steal bases. You know, it, it's bizarre the randomized. But you can do sabermetric. You can do small ball. You do traditional. Uh, more of a balanced, which, you know. Um, let's do sabermetric. That can be crazy, too. That's just crazy. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's just a way of managing the club. And to do, let me submit the team so it knows to use those settings. Cool. I'm, not, I'm just going to exit out. But it is amazing how much time this game sucks up. And it really has helped me through my withdrawals because baseball is not around right now. Um, I have not played with the historical game yet. I'm curious. You can play any historical season between 1871 and 2019. I might do that someday. Just to, I want to play with like a, a team from the 1900, from 1901 or something crazy like that. Um, the amount of work that had to have gone into this game for stat research and just um, the updates that would have happened when if baseball was playing, it's just mind-boggling. And it's so... It's such a great game. I mean, it's my first time I've ever bought it. I don't know where it's been all my life. I don't know why I've never, never, never seen it before. It's just crazy. But anyway, so this is my not so brief introduction to Out of the Park Baseball 21. I highly recommend it if you're going through baseball withdrawals, although it might have a season this year. It maybe. If we're going to have it, it's going to start in mid-July. If it doesn't start by then, I don't think we're going to have one, unfortunately. All right, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time.